Welcome back. So this lesson we're going to talk about the song Hey Hey by Big Bill Brunzi and is also made famous by Eric Clapton playing on his Unplugged album. So I want to make this lesson really straightforward. So we're just going to start with kind of the grips of the left hand. Then we're just going to do a really slow playthrough with the metronome with the tabs on screen so you guys can follow along. And then finally at the end of the video we're going to talk about the verse section. That's the part where he's singing along. So let's just jump right in and get going on the lesson. This is a standard 12 bar blues form in the key of E. Uh, actually, we're doing a fast change blues, so we're going to the A chord in the second measure. So that means that's what your thumb is clicking on. So it starts off with this E7 sharp nine chord. This is also known as the Hendrix chord. Jimi Hendrix played this chord all the time and got famous for it. So we start off uh, plucking on these four low E notes, okay? And then the riff goes like this, holding this chord shape, follow the tabs. Okay, that's the basic riff that we're gonna start with, okay? Before we play that riff, we're sliding up, basically maybe start around the second fret, going up to the seventh fret. Okay, that's a pickup note. So one, two, three, four, one. Okay, also you'll notice there is a quarter step bend. Just with the pinky. Okay, just to give it that blues bend. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna basically repeat that riff. The second half of this riff is coming up to this A7 chord in the eighth position. So we're playing nine, eight, nine on the top three strings, nine, eight, nine, okay? With an A string bass note. Okay, the second half of that riff, we're gonna click. Okay, and then we're gonna hit eighth fret, then open E string, open B string. We're sliding back up from two to seven on the A string to get to this E note, okay? And then we're starting the riff over again exactly. That riff just repeats twice in a row. Let's play it together um, slowly. Two, three, four, one. Switching day. Again. Okay, the second time when you repeat it for measures three and four, don't change the bass note to the A string. You're just staying on the E string for the second half. Let's play it one more time together. One, two, three, pick up notes. Repeat. Stay on the E string. Okay, then we're going into bars five and six, where we're gonna slide down to an A7 chord. And play that riff, okay? So that sounds like that, and we're, what it looks like is just sliding down to this A7, so you're barring the second fret with your first finger on the second, third, and fourth strings, okay? And then you can have any other finger you know, probably your second finger or third finger catching the third fret of the first string. That's where we're adding those melody notes. Okay, that's the riff. The top part is going. Okay, along with the A string. Okay, so that measures five and six, sound like this. Uh, sliding down, A7. Okay, going back to the first riff, staying on the E bass note. Okay, now we're going into the last four bars of so the turnaround. So what we're doing here is we're playing over a B7 chord, and this is an easy B7 
that we're basically playing like the A7 shape that we had here, but sliding up to the fourth position. Okay, and that's the riff in measure nine. Okay, so we're just playing that. Fourth frets on the uh, second, third, and fourth strings. Second finger is going to be here on the fifth fret of the first string. We're altering the melody. Fifth fret to seventh fret, back to the fifth fret. Okay, and then it goes back to, it hits the four on the D string and then open B string. Okay, then we're going to the riff on the A. Okay, that's a pretty tough riff. Let's go over that slowly. Okay, start with an A bass note, hitting uh, the second fret of the B string, then doing this quick riff. Okay, so what we have there is this three, two, oh, two, oh, with the A string root. Okay, beat four is gonna do this. Third fret of the low E string, to a little trill on the G string on the first fret, okay? And that follows up with the last little part. Let's play that slowly, just uh, measures nine and 10. Uh, goes to the B chord. We're sliding, remember, first fret up to the fourth fret. Okay, now we're going into the last two measures, measures 11 and 12, and we play this riff. And then that's going to cycle it over to start the whole thing over again. Okay, so that last little riff. Now, I want to comment that Eric, when he's playing this, when Clapton's playing it, he doesn't play the bass notes at the bottom. He's just going. Okay. Um, however, you know, if you're playing this as a solo piece, it'd be good to play those bass notes because that's what his buddy is doing. His buddy's playing the bass notes. Um, so he didn't have to worry about it. But if you're playing this as a solo blues, which you probably are, uh, add those bass notes. They're not that hard. Basically just holding an E chord here. Okay. The reason I'm holding this E chord, even though we're not doing that, even though we're not playing the full E chord, it's because we had just come from this. Okay, that little hammer on on the G string. I find it easier to just to hold the whole E chord there in case my thumb goes too far with the right hand, so that way it doesn't sound like, you know, the wrong chord type, right? Um, I want to have the safety net of having the chord there. Okay, and then the riff goes like this. Open B string to fourth fret on the E string, okay, with the bass note. So it's and two and three. And the second time it goes open B to open E. Okay, so O4, open, open, O, 2, O, 2. So 2, O, 2, O on the first string, pulling off. Second fret of the B string, open, E string. Okay, and then open, little trill, open on the G string to 1 on the G string. Then pop the two high, e, the two high strings, the high E and the high B, and hit a low E string and a high, high E string. Then slide up to that seventh fret so we can start the whole thing over again. Let me play the last four bars slowly together, and then we're going to go to that uh, full slow playthrough. Here's the last four bars. Sliding in like this. Uh... and then the whole thing's gonna start over again. Let's do a slow playthrough. So after you've kind of run through this part a couple times and you think you know it all, let's do a slow playthrough with a metronome. So we're gonna set this metronome up. The original recording that they do on the unplugged version is about 157, 158. Really, really, really fast. Um, if you're just learning this, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get it up that fast. That sounds like this. This is clicking 157. We're going to slow that all the way down to 90, okay? So uh, your thumb is clicking on bass notes like this, okay? 
at 90 BPM, okay? So here we go, let's do that slow playthrough, um, the whole thing. Here it comes. So one, two, three, slide. <laughs> start over okay cool so let's talk about the verse section so the verse section is the part that he's singing along and that part's really really easy it's just a standard 12 bar blues he's not really doing a shuffle or anything he's got a couple riffs that he adds there so let's talk about those little riffs um, basically the first four bars instead of doing the fast change he goes back to a slow change or he goes back to a standard 12 bar blues so he's just plugging away on these E chord for two bars, second bar, and then he does this riff. Okay, let's go over that riff. So basically it's just holding this E7 chord with the pinky down. Okay, that's the riff slowly. So basically just kind of plugging away on the E and then hitting to the open E string. Okay, that's the single notes and with some harmony adding a couple fingers okay that's what he plays over the e chord on the when he's singing over the a7 chord remember they're both playing here and basically what they're playing is just over this a7 chord back to e in the riff okay over the B7 chord, he's going to come up here and just kind of play off this B7 chord. Now, we're not playing a B note in the bass. We're actually playing this F sharp in the bass. It's just an inversion, but uh, it still sounds pretty cool. Okay, and just the same kind of pattern. Really don't get too caught up on exact patterns here. Uh, the main point of this lesson is the chorus section. That's the part that people know. This part is just the standard blues where he's singing on, on top of it. So let's we'll back it up. So to the E. Now going to the B7, A7, back to the E. Okay, now right there, the last two bars, instead of doing that little riff again, he does this. Okay, that's the same riff that we saw from the beginning of the song. So remember, when Eric's playing that, he doesn't do the bass notes, but you can do that. Just just add the bass notes in there because you're playing this as a solo blues and a lot of you guys I know probably aren't singing along with this either so you probably don't even need that uh, kind of verse section but if you do want the verse section and you do want to sing along you don't even have to add those riffs you can just kind of plug along just with the E and then just kind of the bass notes just to kind of give you something to give a little bit of rhythm so you can sing along <laughs> all right cool so that's it these are all the parts to the song. I hope you had fun learning this one. Uh, this one's really fun to play. I love playing it and uh, people love to hear it. This is a really cool and fun song. So do your best on this one. Remember guys, this is not a super easy song. So if you're just learning this style of solo blues, you know, be kind to yourself and give yourself plenty of time to learn it. And, um, you know, try to have fun with it as well, okay? And that's it for this one and I'll see you guys on the next one.